Hi everyone, I'm back again. I hope everyone is doing well or as well as you can be. Um, if this is your first time here, my name's Ileana and I am on my debt-free journey. So far, if you've been here before, then welcome back. I'm so glad you guys came back to see more of my debt-free journey. So right now I am, I have already set up my paycheck two for April, my second paycheck for April. And I stuck with the purple theme. And these are all my stickers that I bought from, a couple of these are from sticker books that I bought from Hobby Lobby. Some of these are Erin Condren stickers and just a combination. And then this is like washi tape here. So I, I did a little bit of combo. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's continue. Okay, so I have my income here. It's gonna be for paycheck one. I mean, paycheck number two. Why did I say paycheck number one? All right. So we're gonna separate this. And I'm gonna put here, this is gonna be my budgeted, which I budget every paycheck $900. And my actual for this this paycheck was nine hundred dollars and seventy eight cents, which was around what I expected. So there was that, and then I have my four walls, which are the most important things that I have to pay for or stuff, which come. Is a combination of things like my groceries my gas you know things that I need to have paid or to you know yeah they, my this is my four walls and these the four walls if you follow Dave Ramsey those are the most important things you have to get paid for like your car your gas your groceries and the roof over your head or just water and electric so for this paycheck, I am paying my groceries, which is what I do every paycheck. And then for the date here, I always just take it out on the day I get paid. So it's 417. And then the amount I always put, I always take out 100. And then for gas is the next one. I also take that money out on the same day I get paid. And I always take out 40. Right there. Then the next bill I'm going to be paying is my Geico, which is my car insurance. That's important for my four walls because if I don't have insurance and somebody hits me, <laughs> or I hit somebody else that's not going to be good so that one is due on the 13th but I my Geico has an uh, I do this automatically so I just change the date from the 13th to the 17th but I just put the 13th just so I know when it's supposed to come out and it's going to automatically withdraw $115 and 34 cents now I have full coverage with my Geico because you never know what's gonna happen and I would rather be safe than sorry even if it, the payment is high so that's the reason why then next we have water And that is due on the 20th. And the, the amount for that this month is 104, 
86. I'm going to use a cute little sticker. I have a lot of different stickers I want to use up. So, let's see. Okay, I have these cute stickers here. I have these cute stickers here from Adriana Piper. And favorite daughter Emily actually recommended her on one of on many of her um, sticker hauls. And I thought these were really cute. So I'm going to use this faucet right here. And I got these on sale a couple weeks. Couple, I think it was in January or February. So we're going to use that. And it's so cute. I love that. So the next one we have is my Verizon, which is my cell phone bill. Like I've told you guys previously this month, I'm trying to use up my stickers, so I'm using them as much as I can. Now my Verizon isn't due until the third of the month, but I do automatic payments, so it's supposed to come out on the 30th. And the amount for this month is 106.53. And I have, I think I have a sticker here. I'm gonna put the little cute little cell phone sticker here. Right over here. No, it's not gonna work there. right there that looks precious now I'm going to separate it trying to find stickers so I'm going to total this I'm gonna use this leftover washi from Romina Rosa, one of the kits I bought from her. And I'm gonna put it right here. It's pretty. You should always use up the stickers you bought because you don't want it to go to waste. So, I think it looks very pretty. So, let's total her up. So we have 100, 0.34 plus 104.86 plus 106.53 equals 466.73. This is a total of 466.73. All right. Now we go on to the debt. I, thanks to paying off a couple credit cards, I have been able to shorten my pay, my um, debt for this part of the month. And okay. So the debt this for this paycheck is there's only going to be a couple for this paycheck because the student loans I usually pay the two of them are being deferred or forbearance because of what's happening in the world so that money I'm actually going to put towards my Lord and Taylor so I can pay it off quicker so let's start with the first one and then we'll move on so we have Merrick.
the due date for Merrick is the 18th and the minimum amount is going to be $46. Then the next one is Amazon. Which if you guys have ever used Amazon, <laughs> you know how addicting that can be. So that's due on the 20th. And the minimum amount is $30. Then we have Macy's. which is due on the 25th. And the amount for that is $27. And the last one is usually like credit, it's usually the Navient subsidized and Navient unsubsidized, but this month because it's been deferred or forbearance, whatever word you wanna use, I'm going to use that money to pay towards my Lord and Taylor. And that's due on the 17th, which is payday. So I have to make sure I pay that. Which, well, it's actually not due on the 17th. That's just the day I'm planning to pay this. Because <laughs> I forgot. I forgot it's due on the beginning of the month. But I'm going to use the full 132 10, which is a combination of those two Navient sub and unsubsidized amounts. Then we're going to total it up. So the total amount is what we're going to put here. So we have 46 plus 30 plus 27 plus 132.10. It's going to be a total of 235.10. That's how much we're going to put towards debt this paycheck. Now, we're going to total the whole thing up. And then we'll see how much we have left over for our sinking funds. It feels so good to finish off another, <laughs> another sticker set. I'll be putting this in the trash. So, we're going to take, I hope this comes out, I'm going to use this, this like violet colored Erin Condren pencil, let's see if it comes out. Oh, it's very light. Let's see if it comes out for you guys. You could see it, but I'm going to use a darker color. This is where I keep some of these. Let me see if I can find a darker purple. I found this darker purple. Let's see if this comes out better. 
Oh yeah, you can see that better. We're going to put the income here, which the income is 978 cents. And then we're going to put the four walls. And the four walls amount would be four sixty six seventy three, and then the debt would be two thirty five ten. which we're going to subtract so that subtractor so let's take Nine hundred dollars and seventy-eight cents minus four hundred and sixty-six seventy-three minus two thirty-five ten, and there's a leftover of one ninety-eight ninety-five. That's what we have left over. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit strange that I wrote everything out like this and I did this all by myself with the stickers that I had, but I tried to, you know, bring it all together with the purple theme. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to get stickers from the Erin Conjured website, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys wanted to get some of the Erin Condren products that I showed you here today, um, if it's your first time signing up for the first time with the Erin Condren using my referral code, you can get a free $10 code. So it'll take $10 off your purchases. And I'll link that down below for you guys. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And I hope you guys are doing well. Have a good one. Bye, guys.